Hello YouTube, is your DJI Mavic 2 Pro or similar drone still showing a 14 digit flight control serial number instead of your new 20 digit remote ID serial number when using a model RC1B remote with an iPhone? Are you trying to become compliant with the FAA's remote ID rule policy that is now fully enforced as of March 16th, 2024? Then I'm going to try and quickly explain what to do in 5 easy steps. If you are using a DJI Mavic 2 Pro drone with a model RC1B remote and an iPhone, first make sure your DJI Go 4 app is updated to version 4.3.60, otherwise your aircraft cannot be used. Secondly, when clicking on the three dots in the upper right hand corner of your drone live view and checking the about section, is your aircraft showing version 01.00.0770? When you click check for update for your aircraft, does it say checking for update and then make no updates? This is actually where your problem is. Third, you will need to use the DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series app. If you do not have the app, you can download it from DJI's website. Open the app on your computer and then connect your Mavic 2 Pro drone to your computer using a USB Type-C to USB-A male cable and power on your drone. When your drone connects, click on the Mavic 2 Pro logo in the upper left hand corner and it will default to the firmware update section. As you can see, my drone is already updated, but you will click on the download button to the far right of the version 01.00.0797, which was released on November 6, 2023. If you click on release notes to the far right, you will see that this is the first DJI update that adds support for remote ID requirements in the United States. Fourth, once the download is complete, you can unplug the USB cable from the drone and restart it, then you can finally see your new 20 digit remote ID serial number that starts with 1581F under the about section. You can also verify your remote ID is working properly by clicking on overall status when powering on the drone and then seeing remote ID functionality as normal. Fifth, make sure you update your remote ID number on your FAA Drone Zone account and update the markings on your drone. There are a lot of great videos out there explaining this last step with the FAA Drone Zone website, so continue to do your own research to make sure you are fully compliant with FAA's remote ID. Links to all the mentioned websites as well as links to helpful material are listed in the description below. If you found this video to be valuable, please consider clicking both the like and subscribe buttons to help other drone pilots find this video. Please also consider commenting below on if this video helped fix your remote ID issues or feel free to suggest any other helpful videos that you would like me to make in the future. Thanks for watching, fly your drone safely and responsibly, and we will see you in the next one.